Good morning, everyone. Good morning from South Carolina. It is Saturday, May 13th, day before Mother's Day. I thought I would just come outside, sit on the porch. Let's see. It looks like I have like lakes across the street from me, don't I? Yeah, not so much. Let's see if I can zoom in on it a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but it's really, guess what those are? I think I've told you before. They're fish ponds. Yep. Yep. And there's quite a few of them over there. I didn't know my phone could zoom in that good. Oh. That's pretty good. Look at that. That tree is so beautiful. So, yes, I, um... I hear birds and everybody chirping over here in the trees. See, don't know where they are. I hear them. Sun is out and bright. Let's see. This morning. I was trying to see if I can get it in there, but it's just probably just showing. The sky is clear. Beautiful blue sky. It's supposed to be 86 degrees today. Um, which means it's going to be a little warm to me. I don't know about anybody else, but to me. <sighs> Parker's here. Say hey. Say I'm looking scraggly because we still have not found a groomer because he is so honorary. So yeah, um, I had made a video vlog the other day and pretty much I was just talking about um, be mindful of who you take advice from and I still am saying that, you know, people on YouTube can be quite the influencer depending on their personality and who they are, but we don't know these people. And I have to honestly say, I've been influenced. I got a $230 chair sitting in my extra bedroom right now because I was in the market for a new office chair. And, ooh, this one was supposed to be the best chair. They had it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So I was like, well, let me order it from Amazon because I really need a good work chair. Well, that chair messed up my coccyx muscle. I think that's how you call it. The lower muscle in your back, right above your butt bone. So bad that I was barely able to walk some days. And I remember when I first started working back at home, one of the guys that um, I worked with said, gaming chairs. Gaming chairs are the way to go. Well, I'm not a gamer, so I never really thought about it. But when you think about it, <clears throat> it makes sense. Most people who game are sitting in that chair for a very long time. Because if they're gamers like my son and my ex-husband, uh, yeah, they could sit. My son could sit in the chair all night trying to beat a game. So I was trying to see if I could catch up to this bird that just flew by, but I can't. So, um... Yeah, so I've bought that, and it's working out pretty darn good. Now, I still got to work on my back because that muscle is so sore. So, it's getting better, but oh my gosh, it was really, really horrible. So, how did I get on that tangent about the chair? Oh, <laughs> y'all know I'm old. Um... But yes, being influenced by people on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, you know, I listen to some people and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Y'all see that bird I'm filming over there? I was like, these people are giving advice through a lens of trauma. You have to be mindful. When people are telling their story, I wonder if it just went down to try to get a fish telling their story about their life. Listen to it. Um, you know, check out what they're saying. Really listen. Okay. 
trying to give you some nature at the same time. I went behind that tree. Really listen to, sorry y'all. Really listen to what they're saying. Because um, a lot of times, if they have not worked through their trauma, any advice they give you is going to be through the lens of their trauma. And, you know, that's not good advice. So just because you may like them as a personality on YouTube, you can't trust what they say. You don't know them. You don't even know if they're telling you a true story. They could have gotten the life story they're giving you from somebody else, read it in a book, watched it on a TV or a movie. Just be mindful, you know, don't be giving up your monies, your resources and all your time to people that you don't know, you know? We need to get out more and get to know people that are close to us so we can learn how to have real relationships again versus people on YouTube who we will probably never, ever see or meet. Just my uh, Saturday morning little tip of advice. And so you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day weekend for those who are mothers. Um, for those who still have their mother, if you don't, please still enjoy the weekend because you can think of the good memories of that person. Even if you've never met your natural biological mother, there were women in your life who did take on the role, hopefully, as a mother. So, still enjoy it. You're a female. Um, I, my mother is still here, so we're having dinner tomorrow at one of our family's favorite restaurants, this Obox Korean restaurant here. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye.